Hello, this is John, host of the MGTOW is Freedom channel. It is the channel about being a man, right? being MGTOW, men going their own way, men finally saying, you know what, I've had enough of this crap. I've had enough feminist logic and, and woman speak and, and all the horseshit. I've just fucking had it. You know, I had a, a long day, a hard day at work. And then I caught some shit, usually or as usual, in a commercial. Right? I couldn't fucking believe it. More feminist shit, right? So that's why I decided to do this channel. I'm tired of fucking taking it, right? I'm tired of listening to it. I'm tired of the, the feminist crap being played off as mainstream, as some sort of universal truth that no one can argue with. Well, you know what? I've argued with it for fucking years. Years and years and years. And I have yet to come up against anyone, any fucking buddy, who can tell me my thinking is wrong and then stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with me and fucking prove it out if need be. Right? So what am I doing here tonight, right? Besides having a scotch. And tonight's delicious scotch is brought to me by you guys. A nice Glenfiddich 12-year. Try it and true. Buy it at any store. What a fucking scotch, right? Don Diego, nice. Let's get down to business here, though, right? Where are all the feminist whores? Where are all the smart girls? Where's all the feminist intellectuals at? You know, they love to call guys cisgendered white, right? I would be the typical middle-aged patriarch with entitlement, right? I'm a bigoted, misogynist, xenophobe, yada, yada, yada. Where the fuck are they? Where are they? Hello! They're nowhere to be fucking found. As the crow flies, I work about a mile and a half from a college. That's one of my jobs. Where the fuck are these bitches? Right, somehow, some way, they've got their fingers buried halfway up men's asses and controlling us. But they're not in my fucking life. I don't get it. Why isn't someone trying to kick my ass? Where are the fucking white knights and simps? People in my town, my city, know where the fuck I work. They know what I look like. Six foot six, 275 pounds. I stand out like a sore fucking thumb. Come and find me, someone. Bring it the fuck on. You ever notice how some days you just want to fight? Right? I do. I want to fucking see these bitches come out. No one's attacking me. Every now and then we get a little trolling on this channel, but no one's really come in close to get smacked with some big clubs, right? No one's actually made a fucking legitimate argument against what I have to say. Whether I'm talking about a traditional way of thinking of women, or whether I'm talking about how you deal with the current modern fucking paradigm of stupidity. You know, the answer is simple, though. It's MGTOW. Men going their own way, right? And I fucking love how unifying it is for men. Don't matter what we look like, how old we are. If you're MGTOW, you're a fucking man. Where are they? Right? If you're a girl and you're watching these fucking videos, speak up. Put something in the fucking comments. You know, don't try playing fucking woman speak. Don't play any fucking games. I want some intellectual fucking reasoning behind what you're saying. I don't want to hear some, some femme lit social crap out of school. Tell me, with fucking street people speak, why men should give a fuck about women. Do it. In fucking plain intellectual discourse, right? Standard argument. Using the English language. Do it. Explain to me why men should buy you dinner. Explain to me why men should even bother getting the fucking door for you.
And on the other hand, I want you to tell me why I shouldn't get the fucking door for you. Because it's a, it's a fucking lose-lose when dealing with women. You get the door, they get mad. You don't get the door, they get mad. It's a fucking game to you whores. And guys, you know, all you MGTOW guys on here, I'm trying to fucking get the females on here, the dipshits, to fucking speak up. You're on there, about 10% of you. In one fashion or another, maybe 5%. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you fucking bitches out. Come and get me. Right, I got, when I first started this, I was hearing this thing, like a lot of guys don't want to do channels and put their face on it, they're afraid of losing their fucking jobs. I'm not. Both my fucking employers know I have this channel. Both are men, both don't give a fuck. Because it has nothing to do with my work. But try, show up at my work and try to get me fired, you dumb whores. Try it. I fucking dare you. That's actually illegal, by the way. <clears throat> Try it. Where the fuck are you? I'll lose my job. I'll lose credibility. What's the other fucking thing they tell us as guys? You come on here and show your face, right? People are going to see you. They're going to know who you are. Holy shit. Is that so bad that people know who you fucking are? How many times do we as men say to someone else, Man, don't you know who the fuck I am? And I've had to say that to people. Dude, do you know who I am? And the guy goes, oh, oh, yeah, actually I do. Yeah, yeah. It's like, right, you know who I am. Let's knock this shit off. Right, or you know who the fuck I am? It's go time. You know who the fuck I am. I'm not afraid of that. See, fear is what controls us. Fear of what other people think. Fear of what other people are going to do to you. <laughs> hiding. Fucking hiding. I can see hiding from a fucking polar bear. I can see hiding from a polar bear. That fucking thing will kill you. <laughs> Who's the big bad wolf? Who's the boogeyman that I'm supposed to be afraid of? Some hundred-pound, scrawny, knock-kneed, four-eyed, brace-laden, college-age girl? Get the fuck out of here. Am I supposed to be afraid of some donut-wrestling, slobbering pig who's a deuce and a half? Right, and who just might think she can swing at me? Am I supposed to be afraid of that? Am I supposed to be afraid of their boyfriends? Am I supposed to be afraid of some white knight? Who's going to fucking man up thinking it's going to get him somewhere with these fucking lunatic whores? You know, I thought about this fucking channel. You know, years ago I quit playing in local politics. I still have my influence. I still know everybody. I know people in the police department, down to city hall, and fucking county office buildings. But I have no, uh, no desire, none at all, to run for politics. Am I supposed to be afraid of that? I won't be able to hold fucking political office because I hold an opinion that isn't shared by academia and a bunch of fucking crybabies? You know, I'm calling the bitches out. Come and find me. Come and talk to me. If you want to have a civil discussion, we can. If you want to discuss traditional ways versus the way it is versus the way women's feelings are versus the real the reality right the practical reality of the world we can have a nice civil discussion I've had those discussions with people that you would loosely call a friend of mine or an acquaintance right but they can't fucking stand see I, I keep coming on here and I keep trying to say men I'm encouraging you to be men you know, think MGTOW, act like a man. Because you have the fucking penis. You have the brains. Women don't have that. And if a white knight wants to stand up and tell you that he's a feminist and he needs feminism because of people like you, he's already proven himself to be an intellectual dunderhead.
You know, so what are we afraid of as men? Afraid of losing your fucking job, huh? Is that the big one? Is that as big as it gets? You're going to lose your job? You know, for all you guys who live in a big city, you lose your fucking job, go get another one. You know, do it. Just go get another fucking job. You'll get lost in everything again. Right? And how many people can fucking know you? I've got 11,000 plus subscribers on this channel alone. So what? Guys like uh, Sandman and Turd Flingin' Monkey and uh, MGTOW Syndicate and others, you know, the, you know uh, MGTOW 101, this, a lot of those guys got tons more subscribers. I guess I could see them being afraid of losing their jobs. I don't know if those guys think that or not. Or they just like general anonymity. Am I afraid of that, losing my job? Is that the big one? Is that what's holding me back from being a man? I'm going to live my whole fucking life afraid of losing my job? If I stand up for one goddamn minute and talk like a man to someone, act like a man, that's going to cost me my job. So I'm going to spend my whole life afraid. Afraid. Because that's what I keep fucking hearing. Where are all you fucking feminist whores at? The brave ones, the smart ones, the educated ones. The ones that are in your face and fearless. The ones that hold up placards and flags. The ones that march in solidarity with the other twats. <laughs> John laughs at them. John thumbs his nose at them. John gives them the fucking bird. John don't give a fuck. Where are they at? Why should we be afraid? See, that's the fucking trick. Have you ever seen the dogs? You got a, your friend or your neighbor, or maybe someone in your family has four or five dogs, and one of them's a little bastard. Fucking wiener dog, or a shih tzu, or some piece of, you know, uh, poodle little thing. And that fucking poodle goes after the big dogs. Jumps at their throat, nips at them, growls, right? Steals their fucking bone. I'm like, dude, you're the big dog. Go bite them. And the fucking big dog, he gets bullied by the little one from all that fucking yipping all the time. Yip, 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 yip. Right? Yip, yip, yip. Nag, nag, nag. It's the same fucking story. Pretty soon, the big dog has got, he's fooled. All the big dogs are fooled. And the little one's fucking running the show. The big dogs are his bitches. <laughs> 